Wow. I had this crazy theory, okay? Now, I was just chilling in bed and I was thinking, and I don't know what happened, but all this just hit me at once, right? So, basically, I have this theory that, okay, do you guys know All For One? This guy? I think Deku might get his quirk, the quirk to steal other quirks. Now, you might call me crazy, and I, if, if you, at the end of this video, if you think this video makes sense, share it. Get this video out there, you know, or like, get this theory out there. I don't care. I just want people to know about this. This is insane. Okay, so first of all, I'm the one to try it. Make sure to subscribe for more My Hero content, and let's get right into this video. I don't even want to wait any second. Play the intro. <laughs> So before we start talking about the theory, we must talk about Deku's quirk, okay? Deku has one for all. My theory is that he's going to get all for one, the quirk that all for one had, the person that could steal other people's quirks. Now, first of all, we have to talk about Deku's quirk. Okay, Deku's quirk is made up of two quirks, okay? It is a quirk that could be passed down, and it is a quirk that could stockpile power. Okay, you have to remember that. So, we don't really need to talk about the passed down power, we need to talk about that stockpiling power. Okay, first of all, that stockpiling power is insane, okay? So, the reason Deku could use six quirks and all those other quirks that he has now is because of that stockpiling power. So, that power goes down from user to user to user, and it gets a little bit of their power, and it brings them down. So, even takes their quirk, okay, as they said. So, basically, Deku gets the six quirks. So, we all thought, oh, yeah, Deku's gonna have six quirks at the end of the series, but no, I I'm thinking Deku might even be stronger than that, okay? Now, we know Horikoshi took inspiration from Avatar, it's kind of obvious, you could tell just by the previous users, he's about to, he's able to contact them, he's able to use their powers, that's already an Avatar state-like reference. So I'm like, okay, what if he goes more with this Avatar state-like reference, right? Because we know Midoriya is a hero, he's not a villain, and I feel like Midoriya at the end of the series isn't going to kill Shigaraki, so what's going to happen to Shigaraki? What if he loses his quirk? In Avatar The Last Airbender, Ank took Fire Lord Ozai's firebending away from him, okay, using energy bending. So I was thinking, what if Midoriya takes away Shigaraki's quirk, just like how Ank took away Fire Lord Ozai's firebending? Now you're wondering, how is he gonna get All For One's quirk? There's no way he's just randomly gonna get All For One's quirk, okay? First of all, I was, as I was saying, that stockpiling power, okay, that's a major thing. First of all, we have to understand how One For All was made. One For All was a quirk that was made from all for one okay basically there was two brothers one that had all for one and the other had no quirk or so they believed they believed that this his brother had no quirk right and with all for one he was just stealing quirks and becoming super powerful and then eventually he gave him a stockpiling quirk okay so who had the stock stockpiling quirk first all for one that means the stockpiling quirk has the lingering quirk of all for one like, are you taking in how crazy that is? If that's the case, that means at the end of the series, Deku might actually take away Shigaraki's quirk. For all we know, that's how insane that is, okay? So that means this man actually has all for one's quirk. Because it wouldn't make sense if he doesn't have it. He had the stockpiling quirk and then he gave it to his brother. That's what made all for uh, one for all. They combined it. Those two quirks combined make one for all, right? And it's the stockpiling that gives the quirks to the other users. So Deku has all the other quirks because of the stockpiling quirk. So just take in how insane this theory is, okay? Now, if you if you at the beginning you didn't believe me and now you're like, wow, I actually believe you. Yo, know, like the video, please, because I don't know how I thought about this. Uh, my my friend actually told me about um maybe Deku will take away his quirk. That's what he told me. Maybe it's gonna be like Avatar because I was talking about the Avatar references. But I'm like, how is that gonna be possible? And then we just started thinking about it, right? Me and him. Uh, and then like, I started taking it into my, like I started when I was sleeping, I started thinking about it even more. And that's when this all just, you know, hit me. It hit me all at once with the stockpiling quirk, with all this. Cause you know, the original person that had the stockpiling quirk was all for one. So, you know, it makes sense that now Deku would have it as well, or, or like a certain degree to it, okay? And it might even be boosted with one for all, we don't know. But uh, yeah, other than that, if you guys enjoyed this theory and uh, like the Avatar references, please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more My Hero content. Um, share this video, let the theory spread, or uh, just tell other people the theory with your own words. I don't really care, I just want this theory to spread. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. By the way, follow me on Twitter, because there I tweet about what I'm doing, so... Um, you can catch up with my daily life and see what, what what's up, what I'm watching. And yeah, other than that, I'm the one straw and I'm gone. Make sure to subscribe to join the straw man. Peace out, guys.